All right. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one. All right. Welcome, everyone. I'm talking with Bill Gallagher, who is a business coach, a podcaster, an entrepreneur, and we're talking about leadership, the what it takes to go from leading one or five or 10 up to a thousand or 10,000 or more as an entrepreneur. So Bill, take us through some of the, you work with a lot of different entrepreneurs at different stages, and you've been a, a leader and entrepreneur and run a number of companies. What are some of the common challenges that you see for entrepreneurs as they scale up their business, as they start having to oversee larger and larger groups of, of people and facing new challenges that come with that? So much like you have to upgrade your systems and other areas of your business, you really have to constantly be challenging yourself and learning, educating yourself about these different things. One of the one of the piece of advice that you have is that they need to really create a manifesto for the company in order to capture their vision. So tell us a little bit about what you mean by that. Yeah.
And you also say that it's important to build practices to build more culture in the company. So to talk a little bit about how you build that those practices. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> yeah. Do these have to be larger things? Because, you know, you've done a lot of work through EO Entrepreneurs Organization. And one of our learning days, I'm a part of EO Accelerator Program. And one of our learning days, one of the trainers was talking about in his company, he had a couple of unique things that they did. One was he said people get tired because they don't drink enough water. And they felt that was really important. So in his office, they would have these breaks where they'd say, everyone drink water. And everyone had to drink water. And then another one was... They, he said people used to eat lunch separately and they weren't as bonded as clicked together. So he mandated everyone had to eat lunch together, take a break for lunch because some of them were working through lunch. So they had to go eat lunch together. And he said after that, the employees really clicked and bonded. Is that, are those examples or are those like those not significant? Yeah, the health was really important. Environmental stewardship was really important to this company. Yeah. Right. Right. So the third piece is to ha be an authentic leader and to really work on that, to become more authentic and work on your own authentic authenticity. Um, how, how do you how do leaders do that?
I imagine for some leaders, this is one of the hardest challenges they'll face because as a leader, you know, as an entrepreneur, you face ups and downs and challenges all the time. And sometimes it's fake it until you make it right, you know, especially when you're going through these things. So then, you know, it's, it's a fine line, right, between being vulnerable to these setbacks and challenges that you face and at the same time. Uh, projecting that image of stability that you said that um, the the you know the employees the staff the team need to hear. Mm, good, good stuff. So last piece is learning how to coach others and develop compassion. Mm. Any final thoughts here before we wrap things up on these four different points? which is no small order, certainly, to be able to do that. Scaling Up Business, yeah, Scaling Up Business is the podcast, and where can people learn more about you, Bill? Great, all right, thanks so much.